Plague Dogs is disgusting garbage. A lot of people actually warned me about this movie. They said there's nothing of value. And you know, since it's October, it's almost Halloween. I wanted to see for myself. I wanted to finally dig deep into this movie solo, alone, in the dark. And this movie fucking pissed me off. This movie is everything I hate about current media. To where there's interpretation on the story and they don't give a clear message. And with a movie this diabolical and this serious of a tone, you're telling me you did not make a clear message. Having vague or not clear cut answers to a story is actually trash storytelling. Now if you look at this solely from the dog perspective, I think it's absolutely a powerful and emotional story. But if you look at the intro and the human side of things, this story feels super disrespectful in my eyes. I'm absolutely fine with people showing the harshness of nature, but the thing is, they're not doing that. When you bring in animal testing and animal cruelty into this, and you don't have a positive message or any real message at all, fuck you. You are showing brutal scenes just to show brutal scenes, and they have no purpose whatsoever. Now, they could have had a purpose if you would have went deep into why animal testing is bad and all the animal cruelty and make the humans actually the bad people, the bad guys, but no, you didn't. You actually focused hard on the dogs, and it's basically like fucking homeward bound, but more brutal and more like toxic for those of you who don't know the story which i don't recommend watching this movie this movie is fucking disgusting uh it, it serves no purpose and you're not gonna get anything of substance out of it this movie is about two dogs who escape the animal testing facility and try to live life the best they can but they are actually infected with the bubonic plague and so they are being hunted down by um the people who were testing on them. They try to create a life in the hills for themselves and sustain themselves on wildlife. Uh, the sheep, which this farmer has up in the hills, they just take sheep and they try to eat them and just survive the best they can. But at the very end, they end up dying because, you know, this movie from the very get-go, it makes sure you know that these dogs are not gonna survive. This movie starts out very brutally, actually, and we get to see a dog straight up drown and be brought back to life for uh these people's gain it is one of the most saddest most brutal openings and it made me think i was gonna get something of substance from this movie but i do not i am left clueless and i ended up angry at the end of this dog who actually drowns and gets brought back to life is actually our main character our first main character there's another main character we meet by uh, next to this cage they get put into and this character has <sighs> Fucking God. This character has a green cap on their head because they've been testing on their brain and they've been making cuts and insertions into their brain. Snitter is the one with the brain injury. They are actually very optimistic and they think, you know, life is worth living and that although these humans are bad, the humans that are testing on them are bad, there are good humans out there. But Ralph, our other character, the one who actually got drowned, is very pessimistic. They think they just want to die they're tired of life it's very sad to see what these dogs get into and like i said before on a very base level if you actually ignore the animal testing and the animal cruelty that's going on these two characters have a very cool dynamic i wouldn't say cool but like very interesting dynamic and i i could see how people think the story is decent or good but the thing is i'm not ignoring the animal testing not not whatsoever these two dogs end up escaping the facility because one of the animal testing people they accidentally left the cage open and so they end up slipping out and then uh leaving the facility in order to go into the hills and for a majority of the movie that's all we hear from the animal testing side. The dogs basically take over and their whole perspective, uh, the whole perspective is on the dogs. Towards like the latter half of the movie, we actually get reintroduced to um, the people in the animal facility. We actually get to hear them talk about things because uh, these two dogs are like running amok and people are talking about it. And now they're somewhat getting blamed for it. I say somewhat because like, it seems like they squished a lot of dialogue towards the end and there was no real focus on them at all. So like they kind of get shoved away. Even towards the middle section to where they are supposedly hunting these dogs, we rarely see them. The only person we really see is this person who is supposed to be good. And um, 
the stupidest fucking thing happens. We get to see this man who is not a threat whatsoever, I don't think anyway. He has a gun, but he's whistling at Ralph in order to get Ralph to come to him. And Ralph shoots the guy in the face for no fucking reason. This person kind of like tilts up their gun up to their face, but in like a weird way in order to like go pet the dog. And then Ralph ends up stepping on the trigger and killing this person, shooting them in the face. And at this moment, I realize Plague Dogs, although it's a very serious tone, it's not taking itself serious anymore. This is the stupidest thing ever, and it's brutal just to be brutal. There's actually no real explanation for this to happen. Like, no same man is gonna let this happen to them, I'm sorry. After Ralph does that, he ends up hiding back into the hills, and then he starts to think everything bad is happening because of me, which... Uh, like, this story wouldn't be so bad if it just didn't have the undertones of animal cruelty and animal testing. Ralph ended up landing into the testing facility because he ended up killing his owner, which in reality, he didn't really kill him. It was just that, like, he was in the middle of the road and his owner tried to save the dog. And so, apparently, everyone blamed them for that, which is absolutely stupid. The more you watch this movie and the more you start to, like let the serious tones kind of settle in the more you just like you can't ignore the flaws and you can't ignore the somewhat stupidity that's going on here and if anybody tries to say this movie isn't disgusting why are they drawing animal testicles they're drawing animal balls and animal genitals there's no reason for that. It's literally gross to be gross. And this mo this whole movie is disgusting to be disgusting and it pisses me off. Towards the end of the movie, when the humans are actually hunting down these dogs like real talk, they're getting helicopters, they really need to take care of these dogs because these dogs carry the bubonic plague and uh, they have to die or they have to be taken care of. They get cornered by the ocean and so they decide to swim into the ocean in order to reach this island, which, you know, they don't reach the island. It's it's kind of like interpreted that they die. But like, you know, it's, it's, it's a very powerful ending. I'll give it that. But when you when you just think about all the rest of the shit, all the rest of the flaws, this ending is just so undeserved. I very much cried at these dogs dying in the water, even though they didn't really die. It's interpreted that they die. I, I very much cried at it. But you don't get to have that win over me. I'm so pissed off. You don't get to make a beautiful ending like this and then say, oh, well, mm, it is what it is. You know, the humans, uh, we, don't, we don't worry about them, okay? They got no repercussions for anything. Uh... Uh, these dogs just died and that's it it pisses me off so fucking much and there is somewhat a line of dialogue to where they maybe get sort of like brought into the news and they're in the limelight be like oh you know this is bad blah 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 blah, blah. but like nothing else gets taken care of. nothing else gets explained it's so many vague answers that this movie just turns into bullshit they don't have any clear answers they don't have they don't have anything. What substance did I get from watching these animals be tortured? What substance did I get from watching a human blow his face off? There's nothing here. I don't know if you'll be like me, but when you watch this movie, you'll feel so many emotions. And then at the very end, when you like finally start to dissect things, you'll probably be pissed off. As a person who really loves and cares for animals, Fuck this movie. I'm not giving this movie a score. It doesn't deserve it. I'm done talking about this garbage. Fucking waste of an actually good message you could have wrote in there.